Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Really excited for today's video. It's Saturday, so I do Cellar Saturday, where I actually grab something off the shelf and drink it. Uh, I am super excited because this is one of my top 10 favorite beers of all time. Uh, Sammy Claus, I even got the glass. Um, it's, you know, we talk a lot about hop heads, and I'm definitely a hop head, but for all my malt heads, if you have not had this beer, you are missing out. You need to get this beer. Uh, this is from 2014. I have a decent number from 2014 and a few from 2013, um, which makes me realize I should probably see if I can find some other vintages because I only have two vintages. But this is seven years old at time of review, which is pretty rad. 14% uh, alcohol. Uh, it's also the only one I didn't wax seal, so I'm kind of curious if I notice any difference there. Uh, brewed only once a year on December 6th. I'm reviewing this a couple days after December 6th. Um, so this was actually brewed eight years ago. Uh, semi Claus is aged for 10 months before bottling. This specialty is perhaps the rarest in the world. Semi Claus may be aged for many years to come. Older vintages become more complex with a creamy, warming finish. Uh, they're calling it a malt liquor. Uh, product of Austria. Let's get into it. Years ago, when I was getting into craft beer, a buddy of mine came over, we're gonna do a little tasting, and he gifted me a bottle, and uh, he's like, this is one of my favorite beers, and it was, you know, this one, and I'm like, I've never even heard of this beer. And uh, I don't think we did it that night because of how high the ABV was, but I remember when I first had it, it really did, it blew my mind. It was, it's just, if you like multi beers, <sighs> barley wines, you know, doppel box, all that kind of stuff. This is the beer for you. I'll be sipping on this for the evening, so I'm not going to pour a ton in the glass. So nice lighter brown color. There's some orange and red mixed in as well, um, especially the way the lighting is for me. I the, where the like light is coming through is very orangey. So I'm curious. I'm going to assume what you're seeing is a little bit more brown with some red. Maybe some orange coming through, but certainly from my vantage point, uh, there is some orange in there as well. That head not sticking around at all. You know, given the ABV, I guess I'm not surprised. Um, man, I poured it right up to that line, that 0.2 liter line. <laughs> Good pour, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like I remember it looking, you know, again, if you, barley wines, uh, uh, Belgian style quads, um, strong ales, old ales, like, you know, this is in potentially that realm of beers. They're different, you know, they're different. This is delicious. Move on. <laughs> Move on into the aroma. It's a nice mix of a sweet molasses cookie and raisin. Doesn't have cinnamon in it, but you can see how those baking spices like cinnamon would be really not, like would be a nice pairing and almost like because of what is there and how the brain associates it with these other things, you can almost kind of get this with. Uh, big prunes as well. Uh, some dates. So you're, you're getting those, you know, dried fruits big time. A little bit of this rye brown bread thing mixed in with that sweet molasses. Burnt sugar, caramel, toffee. Some nice grape, like grape juice. Very sweet grape juice. And just enough of this like whisper of smoke. Because it is a sweet smelling beer, that almost brings a little bit of the savory element. It's not like soy sauce or anything, but it brings a little bit of the savory element that really helps bring a little bit of balance and, and check that sweetness. It smells phenomenal. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. It's got some prickly carbonation still, which is nice. It follows the nose. Intensities can vary a little bit from the nose, but basically everything I got in the in the aroma, you were definitely getting in the taste. Um, Little boozy, not surprising, 14%. I'm drinking this at like 50, yeah, like 55 degrees. So I certainly could have started it, you know, colder. But for the reviews, beer like this, I kind of like it being a little bit warmer, a little bit more expressive. Um, all those dried fruits for sure. 
a little bit of like rum soaked raisins like that kind of thing because of some of the booziness that does come through um you get that like whisper of smoke peatiness um the like molasses but it's sweet so like again there's these like savory and not sweet or like overly sweet elements kind of grounding this beer um and then yeah the aftertaste is is pretty um again there's some lingering sweetness but there it is it, it's more these other things i'm talking about the the light peatiness the the molasses the brown bread bran kind of like a bran muffin um a um, little bit of that um rye and that grape note really, really coming through. You get a little bit of that sweet grape juice. A little bit of a honey. Here's one for it, because it's kind of syrupy. It's kind of like maple syrup without the maple taste, whatever that means. But it's a good descriptor, trust me. And yeah, just enough booze coming through, not overpowering, kind of helps, again, like it's one of the things that helps dry out this beer a little bit, kind of balance that sweetness, a little bit of warmth in the chest. It's a relatively cold evening right now. Uh, it's not snowing, snowing, but there are some flurries. So this is the exact kind of beer I want to be drinking on a night like tonight. And this is not disappointing at all. I love this beer so much. Have you had this beer before? Uh, definitely let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you have other thoughts or whatever, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.